Well, it sounded good. Pull together an all-star group of builders, suppliers, and subcontractors, and give ourselves two weeks to completely renovate this 1970s California tract home. An ambitious project, but doable. I don't care how many people you got here. The pressure's starting to build and everybody can feel it. Two weeks to remodel, to gut and remodel and add on a whole f***ing house? Can we finish our project? Will the homeowners be happy? What the hell's going on? Where the hell is Alan? Will the rain stop pouring down? We got the rain coming, so we're going to have to put some things under cover. And hopefully uh, it won't make too big of a mess out back. My name is Alan Satomer, the host of Rapid Remodel TV, and welcome to the first installment of our Rapid Remodel Danville project. Forget the big budgets. We are the real reality home makeover show. How much is this going to cost, and when's it going to be done? It's going to be a couple days at the absolute fastest. fastest. Where actual builders are the stars. I hate being on camera. No, you Rapid Remodel! Yeah! It's going to be crazy. This is just a load of crap. We got a serious timeline. We're in big trouble. This is our story. The project takes place in beautiful Danville. We'll be working on the Glover family home, a tired 70s era three bedroom ranch home that the owners are ready to completely remodel. Hi, we're the Glovers. I'm Keith. This is my wife Nancy, my daughter Marissa, and my other daughter Michelle. This initially started out as just a small, kind of sunroom like addition to, to the house. It blossomed into a new kitchen, that blossomed into an expanded kitchen that eventually we said, why don't we, you know, we, we're going to change the floors downstairs, take the popcorn off the ceiling, okay. to why don't we just move out of the house and do it right. The other makeover shows pretend that it only takes days to redo a home. But the reality is far different. In order to do a rapid remodel, we start planning months in advance, working out designs, selecting materials, putting together the crew, finding a hotel for the family, and not included in our two-week deadline, we move out the family, remove trees, and perform a whole house asbestos abatement the week prior to construction. My name is Nancy Orgel, and I work for Tara Dobrik of Tara Dobrik Designs. I hate being on camera. The furnishings, the accessorizing, paint, tile, Picking out of carpet, hardwood floors. Okay, so do you like, let me ask you, I'd like to do a solar tube or a skylight up the top of the stairs because it would just bleed that light all the way down. If we did the master bedroom walls here, and which looks fabulous with your bedding because we pulled it all out, and then we did the master bathroom this, if you decided that you wanted to have faux over that, this is a light enough color because you always want to go light to dark on a faux. It doesn't look as good if you're going, you know, dark to light. And then the back wall of the family room, we're going to really pop in this color and then put that great piece of art on it right. with the dark sofa and all the leather and then pop that orange tone. Do you like a, either of those two blues? I like that one. Okay. The brighter one, right? Of course. <laughs> Mimi, do you have an opinion? And this matches your shirt. It matches my shirt. We have very good taste, don't we? All the planning and discussions can seem tedious and drag on for months. But it's essential that the family is fully involved in the process. We're not going to do a runner. It's just going to be the wood. Right. Um, I didn't know that till today, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing um, you were at the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to start in the front yard by replacing the overgrown greenery with a streamlined landscape design. And to complement the yard, we're going to update the 70s style facade by installing a modern architectural brick by El Dorado Stone. In the back, we're going to remove the iron railings surrounding the pool, the round concrete stepping stones, and sculpt the yard into a contemporary country club look. 
Our largest task is to extend the rear of the house, building an addition that will expand the kitchen and dining room spaces by over 50%, creating a huge shaded patio deck and an all-season decking and railing system above it all, adjoining the upstairs master bedroom. The interior work is no less daunting. We are literally redoing every square foot of floor, wall, and ceiling space. The kitchen addition will create a restaurant-style space, which will be complemented with custom cabinetry and designer-quality Thermador appliances. We are opening up the living room by raising the ceilings and installing a new gas insert firebox surrounded by a beautiful mission stone hearth. The dining area is going to get a floor and wall facelift. We're knocking out the multiple pony walls to create an expanded foyer for the house. Above the stairwell we are installing solar tube skylights that will bring natural light into the house and bring energy bills down. In the master bedroom everything goes. We're going to install a new bed and bedding built-in walk-in closets and cabinets with the zero clearance gas fireplace at the foot of the bed, new steam shower in the master bathroom and matching cabinets, countertops and designer sinks and bathroom fixtures from Moen and Toto. We are also going to remodel both of the children's bedrooms to create a more colorful and vibrant space for the two teenage girls. In short, we're going to give the homeowners an entirely new house. The work will begin by knocking out the back wall to expand the house with a kitchen dining room addition, installing custom cabinetry and designer kitchen fixtures, cutting holes for the solar tube skylight tubes above the stairwell, expanding the kids bathroom and completely renovating both the master bedroom and bath suite. found this incredible website for rapid remodel and this guy named Alan and I sent my stuff in and he actually called me surprise launched into this nightmare I mean this incredible opportunity of redesign and redevelop houses in no time at all my name is Ali Romero I'm with everlasting marble and granite and we do granite kitchen countertops and um, specialize in natural stone we also sell tile out of our showroom and we help your help clients with design and everything else they want to have done. I love this showroom because of the choices and because of the great staff <laughs> too. These are color but it's natural color. It's not man-made. It's from the earth. These are all shell and stone and look at this. Imagine finding this in the earth. Gold stone. So I want to show you a sample of the Jupron and Mocha that we're going to be using in the kitchen. Jupron and Mocha is a very pretty color. Um, it's also known as Arandus Gold. It has a lot of mochas, some pink, some white, some black, slight movement. It's not a stone that has heavy movement. It's um, kind of in between a uniformed to a, to a medium movement stone. Because a kitchen has enough movement in it already. Exactly. Enough action and activity. So you want a little bit of calmness in there. So this would be the perfect, perfect stone. It's going to be a special okay. treat for the homeowner. We're extremely excited to be working with Rapid Remodel. Um, I heard the concept of the show and it's an amazing concept and it's something to to really strive for giving people just two weeks downtime for a full renovation. As you work with a lot of contractors you know that's nearly impossible to do and Rapid Remodel is making the impossible a possibility. This is my first exposure to Arizona Tile. Like their selection a lot, like their um, all their natural looks organic colors. Um, we like it so much that we're choosing the whole master bath is going to be done in the Arizona Tile. Roger Espinella, I'm the Stone Division Manager for Arizona Tile Company. Been in business for over 25 years. It's been pretty successful. They, they're, they're constantly growing. From what I understand, we're the largest uh, importer of stone and tiles on the West Coast, if not the United States. What we want to be able to explain is that the veining is part of the natural of the stone. Uh, you got little fissures here, the blackness, that's, you know, that's all integrated. Um, light colors, dark hues, I mean, it's a natural product. So what you want to be able to do is explain to them that when they're looking at this, they got to be able to visualize where it's going to be in their kitchen. Now, this particular one's going diagonal, whereas on some of the veining on the stones, they can go horizontal or vertical. You want to be able to look at your kitchen and lay it out, is when they're templating, they're going to actually put it, you know, 
the cabinet layout exactly where it's going to go on your granite. It's your ideas with the designer being able to put that vision together and lay it out. Because if they don't do it, if your layout's wrong, or sometimes some tile setters will have their own idea what they feel looks good, it's the difference between really loving your job and just being okay with it. This is what we're taking home. The Arizona Tile Showroom is amazing. One of the largest selections of imported stone in the Bay Area. Now it's off to select carpets and hardwood flooring at Fine Floor Fashions in Pittsburgh. Hi, I'm Barbara from Fine Floor Fashions. We will be providing the installation and the carpeting for the homeowner. We have all sorts of different types of uh, carpet from nylons, from wools, in different selections and different styles. Uh, we actually sell a lot of royalty. Royalty just has a more of a designerish look, so we do sell a lot of that. And also they're a West Coast mill, they're one of the last independent mills around. So this one here is just darker. Now everything looks lighter installed too. So when things are spread it out. It lightens up. Mm -hmm. The meeting went well. We selected around a thousand square feet of the Barraza color, a pattern carpet from Royalty. This is a very, very durable carpet. It's a really tight, twisted, pulled down. Also it has a two different tones to it and has a slight pattern. This is a very designerish type carpet. It is a stain master tech test, so it's very soft. I think they made a great selection. Well now that we've gotten the go ahead, now we have to get a crew together. I think 40 or 50 guys should do it. Yes, yes, yes. I think this phase of the work is done. I've made hundreds of calls. I think we've got ourselves the best crew we've ever put together. Now it's time to start the project. <laughs> They got a sub panel in the closet. Look at that. You can't even get to it with all the clothes they got here. Well, my name is Tony Castro. I'm the electrical contractor for the project, and our job is to ensure that we get all the electrical up and running for all the contractors for the project. The original demo plans show, that, show the existing laundry room to be removed and also where the existing electrical sub panel is. You know, that's the biggest issue is the exact location in the, in the garage for that uh, sub panel. Mm -hmm. From there, I like to have it close to the door because if a breaker trips in the house, you don't want them to walk all the way across the driveway and around cars to reset the breaker. Right. They want to be able to open the door right outside that door. You reset it, and it plus it saves some wire because it'll be closer to the center of the house. Sure. The only thing that the city would be sticklers on with my electrical plan, besides just general code issues. That's what I want to work with with the city is to um, get their exact requirements. Mm -hmm so we can um, uh, review them prior to finalizing the plan so we can get it all correct at the time. Okay. You submitted electrical plans to the city for approval? I did. Okay. Yep, but they were um, pretty general. Like basically just light fixtures, switches, and then That's basically all they want, what needed though. to be GFI, what needed, I mean basically just code issues. Okay. Well definitely a lot of good uh, ideas and good options so we just better nail it and pretty get good. the plans Late approved the as soon as we can. Six months. I really want to get it done. <laughs> you can edit that part. I've been working on these plans for two weeks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Byron Taylor with Champion Electric. I'm the senior project manager, and we've been hired to come out here and go through all this remodel work with Rapid Remodel. Make the customer happy is our main objective. My name is Jim Bach, and I'm a mercenary carpenter. Um, I'm do whatever they, they tell me to do with a little bit of help and I'm here to rock their world. Hey, I'm Crow, and I'm here just to have a lot of fun with this fine crew of carpenters. We're just a finished carpenter that has some artistic background. Raph Kent, plumbing contractor. Excellent. And uh, I got Richard Humphrey with me here. And uh, this is our second project with Alan. I'm Dan Berger with Land Plan, and I'm uh, in charge of the landscaping, if I can get that out right. So, <laughs> I kind of have to wait till all this uh, mayhem is over with, and then I can go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm Craig DeMonte with DeMonte Plastering. Uh, we specialize in uh, interior plaster, Venetian plasters, and uh, we're hoping to get our hand in here. 
Jeff Langston, JLL Builders. Uh, tear it up. Basically destroy and uh, get it ready to put it back together. All right, my name's Rick Beckwith. I was hired on to do the concrete work and uh, help anywhere else I could on the job. And... Yeah, this is going to be a good group. I'm, I'm, I'm jazz, man. <laughs> Well, it's Monday morning and we've been packing for well over three days. We found out that we have uh, as much to throw away as we have to pack. Uh, today's the big day where we want to get everything big out of the house. All the big furniture's got to leave today because I can't move it myself on Tuesday. We'll be checking into a local residence inn. Appreciate their uh, participation in the program. Uh, we've got a nice two-bedroom suite. It actually has two bedrooms, so my uh, two bedrooms, two baths, so my daughters will have their own bedroom and own bath and uh, my wife and I likewise. And we're gonna try and stay out of everyone's hair as much as possible and, and when the team calls us, we'll be available. But uh, we're looking forward to trusting the work the team does and, uh, and being surprised at what they deliver when, at the end of the project. This, this is, is the Glover family, family signing, signing off. off. I'm Terry Lindsay from Absolute Construction and I'll be the general contractor on this. So um, basically all the hairballs come to me. Today we have, we have uh, tree removers, uh, demolition haulers. Uh, we've got the asbestos abatement people coming in. We moved the family out yesterday. That, uh, that went till uh, well into the evening. The timeline for this project is only two weeks. But we are cheating a little by doing some important prep work the week before the guest builders actually start on the house. My name is Dex Hamilton and I'm the owner of Hamilton Tree Service. Today we'll be removing all the trees from uh, this property, clearing it basically, stripping it down, uh, taking out these trees and grinding the stumps, uh, front yard and backyard. We have a bucket truck, a pretty good sized crane, and we're going to be moving on a chipper is one of the biggest chippers that you can find on the streets these days. Chip up these trees and we'll use those chips. We'll recycle everything and anything that might become lumber. I also take it back to my yard and we'll make lumber out of it. So it isn't just wasted. We try to utilize them and recycle everything and put it back into the environment in a complementary way. I love the smell of timber in the morning. Dex and his crew cleared over seven mature trees from the front and backyards so we could sculpt the landscape and make ready our addition. The next step was to move out the homeowners and all of their belongings and perform a complete asbestos abatement before we would be given approval to begin the remodel. Uh, my name is Jamie Tamayo. I'm the president and CEO of uh, Environmental Remedies. We do asbestos, lead, mold abatement, and biological removal. What we have to do before we start anything is we do have to notify regulatory boards such as Bay Area Quality Management District and Cal OSHA. You want uh, companies that are coming into your home basically to be able to uh, do this correctly and dealing with regulatory boards, not the fly-by-night companies working out of the back of their trucks. What it entails is us going in there basically medically sealing the entire interior of the property uh, that means putting two layers of plastic on the walls, three on the floors. Uh, we established what's called negative air filtration. Uh, it's just a fancy word for a giant vacuum during the entire procedure. We uh, plan on being out of here, like I mentioned before, two to three days. We're looking forward to getting started, uh, looking forward to getting done. I want to welcome everybody here. I, I appreciate you guys coming out, taking time out of your busy schedule. I know that no one's getting rich doing this. I want to have everybody give yourselves a big, big round of applause. Yeah. You guys. I want to, I, I basically, uh, again, you know, thank you. People have asked us, guys, you know, why are we doing this? And it's not because someone is sick or we have a, a real desperate family in need. We're doing this really because we can. Because we like to rise to a challenge. So if those other guys on TV can do this, we can. Right, guys? Yeah! That's right. A rapid remodel on three, huh? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Rapid remodel! <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. We really assembled an all-star crew for this project. So 
where's the cement guy? Our cement guy basically got paid and then just burned rubber. Everything's shot if we don't have concrete. We discovered uh, a different type of foundation. It's a pier and grade beam foundation as opposed to a gen uh, regular spread footing. Okay, well, we got a whole logistical issue then. I mean, getting a drill rig out here, that was not in the plans. It's going to be a couple days at the absolute fastest. fastest. We got the rain coming, so we're going to have to put some things under cover. This ain't level. Oh, yeah. The beam's sagging. But that needs to come up, according to the string. <laughs> but we can't have it all roller coaster shit. I ain't gonna do that. We got a serious timeline. We're in big trouble. Again, we've been here 15 years. It was time for a change and a move, but we didn't want to leave. So this was our this was our solution. I thought a water feature would be nice in the kitchen. <laughs> Also, I couldn't uh, remember that last part you said to add. Something about the giraffe, short for wrap. <laughs> we entered into the scary zone of the house right oh! now. Everything you see will be gone. Well, the real secret to bathroom lighting is making sure that you get the lights just right. Let me show you. By using a plumb bob, you can find the exact location where you'd like to have the light. So when you're reading in the bathroom, Way too many people, things crashing, things being smashed, broken down. Very exciting.